and I want to present it to your sister, your 16 year old or your 14 year old sister. As a human being, what would you think of me? I want to present this book on incest with the types and types of incest that you can commit. Yeah. Anthology of incest. It's educational, but I want to present it to your sister or your daughter. Suppose you are a grown up man and you have a 14 year old girl, I want to present it to her. What do you think of me? Well, I think that's a very important point to bring up there. As a matter of fact, I believe the Bible um, even has parts which even talk about incest. Mm -hmm. And these parts, although in the Bible, were, in, were I, I think intended not by God to be in the Bible. That man has put these things in. And in fact, there's even parts where where you, you read of... Uh, uh, there's a part where it talks about... Um, Abraham or something like that, and one of the, one of them guys and his two daughters. And there's, huh? Yeah. Lot, Lot and his two daughters. Uh, maybe Lot, Lot, and Lot. Two They're having intercourse yeah. night after night, mm -hmm. and, and they beget bastard children. Yeah, there was another one as well where um, it was his mother. Where they were yeah. talking about a whole a whole nation of uh, this guy who had daughters, and his daughters were going off with these men of Syria or something. Right, right. Like right. Well, in the book of Ezekiel, you have the horses right. of those two sisters, yeah. Ahola and Aholiba. Yeah. And it speaks about the genital organs and she doted upon her paramours. Yeah. Paramours means her lovers. You know, she doted, means she yearned after her paramours, whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission was like those of horses. Can God talk like that? No. Huh? I think also even the Song of Solomon, have you read right, right, that? Right. These are, so these are so not now, the words so of now God. We said, look, our common sense tells us. Yeah. Because if I wrote that book and want to give to your sister, you said, no, there's something wrong. I've got evil intentions. Yeah. I want to pollute her mind. This is pornography, man. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you, you can do like this and you can do with your father. And the fellow wants to rape his sister. He wants to have intercourse with his own sister, one of the sons of David. So his friend gives him an idea, he says, you see what you do, you pain, sick. So when your father comes along to say, what's wrong my son? He says, look, dad, I'm not too well, too well, but I want my sister Tamar, you know, to mix the special cakes that she makes always, and I want to eat it from her hand. So father says, look, how oh, your brother Amnon, you know, he's not well, go, go make yeah. cake and go and feed it. So she makes the cake and she goes and takes it. So, the brother is feeling sick. So he said, look, all these males who are guarding this place, let them all go, get away. So, he chased them away. Then, sister, he locks the door. This is in the Holy Bible, he locks yeah. the door. He says, come, my sister, come, sleep with me. She says, no, it's not done. Brother, you know, what a thing to do. But he was stronger than her and he raped her. Yeah. Right. So now, I'm asking, in a book of God, Father having intercourse with his daughters, son with his mother Reuben, yeah. Genesis chapter 35, verse 22. He speaks about Reuben, the eldest son of Jacob. He goes and prohibits with Bilhah, his father's concubine. Your yeah. father's wife is your mother. Yeah. Your father's wife is your mother. You go and prohibit with your mother. What's the moral? What is the moral of that? Then Genesis 38, he speaks about Judah, the father of the Jewish race. Yeah. He's going to kidnap to share his sheep. And he sees this woman sitting by the roadside. So he comes up to her. He is gay, man. He said, allow me to come in unto thee. He said, let me have sex with you. So she said, what will thou give me? He said, I'll give you a kid from the flock, a good kid, you know, for having sex. So he said, what guarantee is that I will give it? Suppose you have sex and you go away and you don't send the goat. So he said, what guarantee do you want? He said, your signet, your ring, and your bracelet, used to be bangles those days, and your staff. So the old man gave it to her and had intercourse with his daughter-in-law. And she became pregnant. And twins were born. Who were they? Fares and Zara. And who are they? The great grandfathers of your God Jesus. I'm telling the question. Mm. God Almighty chose to be to come down to earth, your God, Jesus Christ, the Christian say he is God. Mm. He was born to Fares and Zara of Tamar. Father in law having intercourse with his brother in law, they're getting bastard children, they become the great grandfathers of your God Jesus Christ. I want to know what's the moral of that. Yeah, no. What is the moral? You see moral. The book is full of immoralities, pornography of the highest order. And you kiss it and you fondle it and say it is the book of God. Yeah, I think there's many things in there which are... Biblical trash. It's, yeah. it's one of our prophets called biblical trash is what he calls it. It's but, what, so now yeah. then it's not the word of God. Yeah. Once you say it's biblical trash. I think 
there are many words of God in there, but of course there's a lot of exactly. words of you men. You see now, the Muslims say, the ones the Muslims say mm-hmm. about the Bible, he says that the word of God is in there. Yeah. The word of the prophet is in there. Yeah. The word of the historian is in there. And there are many other things besides. Yeah, that's the problem. There are four different types of evidences in the Bible. The word of God. You read, you read in the book of Isaiah. God speaking to Isaiah. He said, I, I am God and there's none else. I am God and there's none like me. Yeah. Who's talking? God is talking. God talking. But we only hear Isaiah talking. And Isaiah beating his breast. Yeah. But we know, we understand, that is only quoting God. Yes. These words are the words of God, not of Isaiah. Yeah. Although Isaiah uttered them. Right? He said, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is no saviour besides me. Who is mm. talking? I said, God is talking. Yeah. So we do recognize the Muslims in the Bible, word of God. Or, he said, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, yeah. and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Who is talking? God. God yes. Through Moses, God is talking. That's the word of God. Then we have the word of the prophet in the Bible. For example, Jesus said, this has been said by them of old time. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, who says I? Jesus. Yeah. A messenger of God. You can see again and again, but I say unto you, but I say unto you. Now who says I? Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Then we have another type of evidence which says while he, Jesus, was going forth into the way, yeah. he saw a fig tree in the distance with leaves. Happily, he came up to it, wondering the fine trees thereon. But when he came, there was nothing but leaves, for the season was not yet. Who's talking? Not God, yes. not Jesus, but an eyewitness or a new witness or somebody writing from hearsay. Yeah. See, there's a third type of evidence. The word of God is there, the word of the prophet is there, the word of the historian is there. Yeah. Now we have pornography is also there. Mm-hmm. That's just the word of some man. You see, the Jews, the Jews, like the Muslims, you know, the Muslims, when we come across anything written in Arabic, we don't know Arabic as a language, yeah. but anything written in Arabic, we think it's a Quran. Ah, yeah. You know, that calligraphy. Yeah. Well, we don't see newspapers in, that, in, 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 in this environment. In Arab countries, of course, you see newspapers in Arabic, but we haven't seen newspapers in Arabic. We don't see books in Arabic. Yeah. We only see anything that we see in Arabic is the Quran. <laughs> right. So now, when there's a piece of paper written in Arabic is thrown down, the Muslim will watch, the Muslim child picks it up, kisses it, and puts it into his Quran in yeah. as respect. Yeah. But that piece of paper could be a, something pornography. Yeah. See, but now we don't know. I didn't know. We see the calligraphy is holy, holy. Similarly to the Hebrews, anything that was written was holy. Yeah. I think that's what happened. That's so anything that was written was holy. So now they started, they started getting things together. There are things about Lord. Mm-hmm. Why would God Almighty inspire Moses to write about his brother prophet that he had sex with his daughters, even if it happened? What is the reason for recording it and preserving it for posterity? He wouldn't have recorded And Reuben, he f***ed his mother. And Judah, his daughter-in-law. And Amnon, he raped his sister. And another guy, uh, he, the sons of David, one of the sons of David, he put a tent upon his palace roof, mm-hmm. and he made fourteen of his father's wives to sleep, and he raped them all. Fourteen. In the Holy Bible. Fourteen, one by one, he raped them all, incest and rape, fourteen of his mothers, to show his father a point. Hmm? So this is what I think of you. Yeah. This is what the son did. Now it's recorded in the Holy Bible. I said, now for what? For what purpose? So he says, no man, this is crap. But now you have accepted as the word of God. Hmm. Now well, you, are, you are more broad-minded than the rest of the Christians. That's why we say it's, it's uh, as far as translated correctly, I think when we say as far as translated correctly, we